CIETNCERT presents the audio book Joyful Textbook of Mathematics for Class 2 Page 71 Chapter 7 Rani's Gift Let us read Once upon a time Raja Jagdeep wanted to make a beautiful carved bed for his queen He called his best carpenter from the town We have four images here and some dialogues are taking place in the first image there is a dialogue between the king and the carpenter raja jagdeep says i want a bed which is 10 hand spans long carpenter replies okay maharaj in the second image we can see that the carpenter is making the bed and he's making sure that the bed is 10 hand spans long So the carpenter has started making the bed. Carpenter has brought the bed into the palace. The queen says, "I am unable to fit in." In the last image, we can see Raja Jagdeep measuring the bed and thinking, "One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight." It is only eight hand spans. Carpenter's son says, "But how is it possible?" Page seventy-two. In the next image, the carpenter's son also starts measuring the bed, and he says, "One, two, three, fourteen. It is fourteen hand spans." Everyone including the raja was confused. In the last image we can see his mantri telling the raja, "I have a solution for this." Discuss the solution which was given by the mantri to solve the confusion. Let us do. Use your textbook to measure the length of the given objects. Now we have a table for you. The table has 3 columns and 3 rows. The first heading is objects the second is estimated length and then actual length the first item is a desk estimated length blank actual length blank the second item is a blackboard estimated length black actual length black next we have a window estimated length blank actual length blank page 73 let us do kavita is going to the school from her home she is getting late which path should she use to reach the school fast mark it in the picture given here so we can see an image of a locality here kavita is supposed to go to school from her home so different paths are given here and you have to identify the fastest route to school Let us do. Choose the longest path from A to B. Image has three square grids. At the top left of each grid, A is written. That is the start of the path. At the top right bottom, B is written. That is the place where you have to reach. In every grid, a path has been taken from A to B. You have to determine the longest path from A to B. Also make the shortest path between A and B. Encourage children to verify their choice of path using a thread. Ask them to help each other in measuring the length. Page 74. How many blocks? Now, we have two images for you. The image on the top has two children, a girl and a boy. They have four toys. The first one is a giraffe then they have an elephant third they have a camel and a monkey next to them there are three blocks lying on the ground they are trying to determine the height of each toy using these blocks in the second image the girl says let me stack the blocks and find the height of my toys fill in the blanks a the giraffe is blank block tall b The blank is seven blocks tall. C. The monkey is 
blank block stall d the elephant is blank block stall page 75 let us do how long is your hand trace your hand in the space given here and count the number of lines project work find the length of these using any tool of your choice eraser blocks or pencil record your measurement 1 any wall of your house 2 length of your bed 3 length of a door page 76 pumpkin's chopal look at the picture and compare which vegetables are lighter or heavier than the other vegetables we have an image here for you this image shows a chopal this chopal is headed by pumpkin and he is surrounded by different vegetables the first one is a cauliflower then capsicum carrot watermelon musk melon bottle gourd radish chili and a lady finger the pumpkin says i am heavier than bottle gourd the capsicum says i am lighter than cauliflower watermelon says i am blank than pumpkin the bottle gourd says i am heavier than a carrot chili says i tell you i am the most blank what do you think is heavier a pumpkin or a watermelon discuss fill in the blanks a musk melon is heavier than carrot b capsicum is lighter than blank c blank is heavier than blank d blank is lighter than blank e blank is heaviest of all f blank is the lightest of all page 77 let us do collect a few things from your surroundings sort out the lightest and the heaviest among those arrange all the things in the increasing order of their weight how do you know which is light and which is heavy make your own balance make your own balance with the help of a paper cup thread and a hanger like the one shown in the picture here now compare any two objects like eraser ball bead pencil crayon etc to see which one is heavier so we have a picture here here is a balance made up of hanger and two cups let us do circle the heaviest one a pencil notebook school bag b a bag of oranges a bucket and a packet of crayon colors page 78 circle the lightest one a a doll a gift packet an eraser b a football a matchbox a balloon let us think tick the vegetables and fruits which will make the balance go down mark light l and heavy h in the center we have a weighing scale the side going down is heavy it has been marked with h the side which is up meaning it is lighter has been marked as l a pumpkin and a potato this one has been done for you there is a tick mark against pumpkin and under that h is written which means it is heavy under potato l is written meaning pumpkin is heavier than the potato orange watermelon spaces are given mark the heaviest one and write h and l h for heavy l for light c coconut and mango there are blank spaces under them mark h or l and tick the heavy among the two d an apple and a lady finger two blank spaces are given write l or h and mark the heaviest one page 79 take two paper bags of same size fill one with sand and the other with dry leaves discuss their weights which bag is heavier 
Look at the pictures and discuss the different types of balance used by people in the given pictures. Take the type of balance you have seen before. In the first image, a woman is measuring a cylinder with a spring balance. If you have seen this mode of balance, put a tick mark in the blank space given. In the second image, a shopkeeper is using a mechanical balance to weigh something. If you have seen this type of balance, put a tick mark in the blank space given. The next one is a digital weighing machine. We can see some sweets being measured. Tick the blank space if you have seen this type of balance before. In the fourth image, a woman is using a hand balance. If you have seen this type of a balance, please tick the blank space. Page 80 Fruits in the Park We have an image here for you. There is a seesaw. On one side, there is a watermelon in a basket and on the other side, there are some mangoes in a basket. Watermelon and mango want to play on the seesaw. Watermelon sits on one side, but he could not get up. His friend Mango called other mangoes to sit on the other side. A. How many mangoes will balance the watermelon? Find out from the given picture. B. How many coconut can balance? How many coconuts can balance the watermelon if? So we have an image here of one coconut and two mangoes. We can see that weight of one coconut is equal to weight of two mangoes. So in the given space, you have to write the answer that how many coconuts are required to balance the watermelon. Project work. Name some of your family members or friends who you think weigh A. Almost the same as you. Blank. B. More than you. Blank. C. Less than you. Blank. Find out the places where you can check your weight. What is your weight? Blank. Encourage students to estimate the weight of different objects around them in relation to other objects. Page 81 Let us make Nimbu Pani. Raghu and his friends made Nimbu Pani for Raghu's grandmother. We have an image here. In the image we can see Raghu and his friends are making Nimbu Pani. He used these things to prepare one glass of Nimbu Pani. A. Water, one glass. B. Sugar, one spoon. C. Lemon juice, two spoons. D. A pinch of salt. Now, Raghu wants to make Nimbu Pani for himself and his two friends. Raghu has to make three glasses of Nimbu Pani. Write the quantity of ingredients he has to use to make three glasses of Nimbu Pani. Water, blank glasses. Sugar, blank spoon. Lemon juice, blank spoons. Salt, blank pinch. Find out. Name some drinks that are prepared at your home. Find out the ingredients used for making your favorite drink and write them here. Name of your favorite drink, blank. Ingredients, blank. Quantity, blank. Page 82. Find out. Raghu's bottle is filled with four glasses of water. We have an image here. We can see a water bottle and a glass full of water in it. A. How many glasses of water can fill your bottle? Blank. B. How many glasses of water can fill your friend's bottle? Blank. C. Does your friend's bottle fill with equal or more or less amount of water? Blank. Name the friend whose bottle can carry. A. Equal water as yours. Blank. B. Less water than yours. Blank. C. More water than yours. Blank. Project work. To make a jal tarang, musical instrument, arrange 5 to 7 similar glasses or bowls. Fill them with varying levels of water. Gently tap a spoon on each glass or bowl and hear how each one sounds. Tap at different parts of the glass or bowl to feel the difference. Discuss the uses and importance of water in our life. 
also discuss the proper usage and no wastage of water. You were just listening to this audiobook, Joyful. Narrators, Harpreet Kaur and Neera Jyadav. Technical Coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Shanu Mukseem. Produced and Directed by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook was brought to you by CIET-NCERT, New Delhi, India.